cars collide. Police race to the scene. So does the Humber Lug. No matter what the story or where, the Humber Lug is there when it happens. No other paper in the area is more ready for action. They get the photos and the facts quicker. But news events are only a part of the Humber Lug story. They have the lighter side with comics, entertainment, ads, and sports. All this for just 60 cents. Get your subscription today by calling 639-9203. Keep updated with the events happening in your area. Pick up the Humber Log. Are you ready for Mary Browns? Winter may be cold, but Mary Browns has a real hot deal waiting for you. Listen, you get 12 pieces of that golden chicken. You get a large fries or taters. You get a large salad. And you get it all for just $15.99 plus tax. A little more in Labrador. It's a real hot deal. So skate on down to Mary Brown's and warm up your winter with a real hot deal. Brothers on Commercial Street, a household name for quality carpeting at reasonable prices. Dwyer Brothers. For your chance at winning big bucks, play Radio Kingo this Saturday on CFCB AM Stereo. This week's jackpot is $2,500 on 54 calls or a consolation prize of $500. The Lucky 7 now stands at $100. Get your friends together today and play to win. This week's Kingo cards are green and can be picked up at any of the regular Kingo outlets for just $1. Be listening to CFCB AM Stereo this Saturday at 6.30 for the latest numbers. <laughs> Rise and shine with Bartlett in the morning on 570 CSTV. Starting at 10 a.m. this morning, the water will be shut off on Bolton's Avenue, Star Street, and Berry Place. It'll be off from four to six hours to judge yourselves accordingly. You've got about a half hour to fill up whatever you can fill. Starting at 10 a.m. this morning, the water will be shut off on Bolins Avenue, Star Street, and Berry Place, and it will be off from four to six hours. So as I told you, start filling things up now. It's 9.30 in the morning on a Wednesday on the first day back to work in the new year, 1991. Alabama, the jukebox in my mind. It's playing all my favorite memories. Time to think of it. The only thing I can think about that's not going to hit, get hit today by the GST is the quarter you put in the jukebox to get yourself a song or two. That's a nice thought, isn't it? You can still beat them, guys. You can still beat them if you try. <laughs> all right. Here's Olivia Newton John. If you love me, let me know. On 570 CFCB AM Stereo, January 2nd, 1991 already. When I was happy in the sunshine, I grew to love you more each passing Wednesday, January 2nd, and for the rest of the week, you'll find sensational savings during the 60th anniversary Super Sale at Zellers. It's a panty spectacular with 50% off selected panties, briefs, and bikinis. Get a Samsung point three cubic foot microwave with removable glass tray only $89.97. And only one store gives you free valuable club's endpoints at the 60th anniversary Super Sale. If new furnishings for the home or office are out of the question, visit Tony's No Frills, 2 Brook Street. At Tony's, you'll find a large selection of good used stoves, fridges, tables and chairs, store shelving, cans and canners, and much more. If Tony doesn't have what you're looking for, he'll find it. Furnish your home or apartment at half the cost. Visit Tony's No Frills, 2 Brook Street, or call 634-4603. 
The January clearance sale is now in full swing at Target stores with incredible savings throughout the store. Save on ladies ski suits and jackets up to 50% off. Ladies blouses 7.88, ladies skirts as low as 6.88, and ladies sweaters starting at 5.88. Save on men's jackets starting at 29.88 and check out even more savings on men's sweaters, men's shirts, and men's pants. Shop Target during the January clearance sale and save, save, save. If you're not shopping Target, you're just not shopping. Doors open at 9:30 a.m. sharp. This Wednesday, January 2nd, one of Sears' biggest sales ever. Watch for the flyer. The store-wide savings. The super prices. From fashions to furniture, appliances to electronics, and more. You can't afford to miss Sears' warehouse sale. Your money's worth and more. The Mamas and the Papas, they wrote that. They should have recorded it, but they gave it to their friend Scott McKenzie, and that became one monster hit for him back in the 1960s. San Francisco on 570 CFCB AM Stereo. It's 19 minutes before 10 o'clock in the morning. It's 942. By tomorrow afternoon, the temperature will be down to minus 13 degrees in western Newfoundland. Prepare for it. Make sure your car's battery's up. Make sure your forest has oil in it because you're going to need it. Oh, yeah. Winter's here. Skiing is great at Marble Mountain, by the way. You want to get up and do some of that this afternoon? It's a good idea. That's Blue Rodeo Canada's, I guess, most prominent group these days. That's called Love and Understanding. You know, good coffee makes business a pleasure. Serve Sunrise Coffee at your business location. For full details on a Sunrise Coffee service at your place of work, call 6489382. That's Sunrise Coffee at 6489382. I've got the top song of 1990 coming up for you. That is, uh, as far as radio and records, the r r magazine. Uh, an industry standard, by the way, as well as Billboard. And the Billboard did have one called Vision of Love, Mariah Carey. R&R had a different one. CFCB AM Stereo was going by the R&R list. And I can tell you, number 90 was Drop the Needle, Maestro Fresh West. Number 80 was Woman in Chains, Tears for Fears. Number 70 was The Price of Love, Bad English. Number 60 was Ron Stat and Neville with I Don't Know Much. Number 50 was Every Little Tear by Paul Jans. That's a nice one. 40 was Blue Sky Mind by Midnight Oil. Number 30 was Dangerous by Roxette. Number 20 was Hold On from Wilson Phillips. Number 10 was Escapade from Janet Jackson. Number 1 was I Wish It Would Rain Down by Phil Collins. On 570 CFCB AM Stereo, the number one song in the top 90 of 1990. Wednesday, January 2nd, and for the rest of the week, you'll find sensational savings during the 60th anniversary Super Sale at Zellers. It's a panty spectacular with 50% off selected panties, briefs, and bikinis. Get a Samsung point three cubic foot microwave with removable glass tray only $89.97, and only one store gives you free valuable club set points at the 60th anniversary Super Sale. At Zellers, the regular giant Wednesday night bingo at the Royal Canadian Legion will go ahead tonight as usual. $3,500 in prizes must go, and cards are at regular prices. Try your luck tonight during the regular giant Royal Canadian Legion bingo at the Legion and Happy Valley game time, 8 p.m. The Royal Canadian Legion wishes one and all the very best of the new year. By the way,
boy, starting at 10 a.m. this morning, the water will be shut off on Bolins Avenue, Star Street, and Berry Place. It'll be off from four to six hours. That's 10 a.m. this morning. A few minutes from now, the water is being shut off on Bolins Avenue, Star Street, and Berry Place. It will be off for four to six hours. Let's take a look at the ski report brought to you by Miller Lite. Here it is. Thank you for phoning the Marble Mountain Ski Report. Marble Mountain is open today, Wednesday, January 2nd, with skiing on five trails. The Cruiser, Crocker's Run, Steinberg's, Ho Chi Minh, and our new beginner area. These trails are serviced by our small quad chair, our large T-bar, and our baby T-bar. Conditions on these trails are one to one and a half feet of granular man-made snow. Thank you for phoning the Marble Mountain Ski Report. Miller Lite and CFCB making sure you go downhill in style. CFCB AM Stereo. And she's coming in with the latest news. Before that, I'm taking off out of here. Dave Bozan is on the other side of news and weather. This is Wayne Newton. Daddy, don't you walk too fast. As we go back to the 1960s, CFCB remembers. The love between the two of us was dying. And it got so bad I knew. CFCB. Minus 5 degrees under light snow flurries at 9.57. Angela Garnier, CFCB Satellite News. Police in the Cornerbrook area are pleased to say no one was charged with impaired driving during the New Year's celebrations. The Royal Newfoundland Constabulary and the RCMP detachments in Cornerbrook and Deer Lake all say it was a generally quiet transition to 1991. Cab companies obviously benefited from sober thought. Most reported brisk business over Monday night, Tuesday morning. Police in St. John's are still looking for a placentia man who failed to return to Her Majesty's penitentiary after the Christmas holiday. Raymond Coffey continues to elude police after he was given a pass to spend the day with his family. A second man who also didn't return, James Whalen, turned himself into authorities on New Year's Eve. The other man was arrested last week. The Newfoundland Teachers Association is not ruling out job action this year. President Keith Coombs says he's hopeful a contract can be reached for the the province's teachers. But Coombs says if not, all options will be examined, including a strike. I would not rule anything out at this time. I mean, we have to be, again, uh, uh, very, very, very realistic on this. And while teachers uh, want to be reasonable and fair in, in approaching negotiations, uh, they're not going to be prepared to sit back and allow government to erode what has taken 100 years to develop. The president of Memorial University in St. John says the facility will be leaving many instructional positions vacant in the new year. Dr. Art May says the move is a money-saving initiative. May says there's no doubt it's putting additional pressure on the professors, but he says it's an alternative to layoffs, at least for now. So we're creating a pool of vacant positions in the event uh, that we have to reduce any part of our operation. And the reason, I think, must be obvious that if we have to reduce, then we can say to people, the job you're doing no longer exists, but here's another one uh, that you're qualified for and we'd like you to, uh, to, to slide into. The Newfoundland Nurses Union is also predicting a serious deterioration in the health care system as a result of government cutbacks. President Joan Marie Elward says there's no doubt patients will suffer, and Elward says that's just not good enough. It's a big concern for, for people who are waiting to get in for surgery or different treatments. Um, that is the big concern really now, is where will our health care system go in this province? The GST is uppermost on many minds as the new year begins. But governments have a host of other changes in store for Canadians. Chris Green has this report. 1991 means slightly higher social welfare payments. Old age pensions are going up $3.51 to $355 a month. Canada Pension Plan pay payments rise to a maximum of $605. The maximum weekly unemployment insurance benefit rises to 
to $408 from $384 paid last year. And baby bonuses rise 60 cents a month to $33.93 per child. Higher gas taxes kick in in a couple of provinces. Nova Scotia drivers, for example, are paying another 1.3 cents a liter for unleaded. Canada Post is adding a penny to the cost of mailing a letter, but with the GST, it'll mean you're paying 43 cents for a new 40 cent stamp. MP salaries go up 4% in addition to $6,000 of tax free housing allowance, bringing their total pay to 92 grand. Prime Minister Mulroney will earn $159,000 this year, up 6000 from 1990. Cabinet ministers also get a $6,000 raise to 141000 Chris Green, CFCB Satellite News. A Vancouver artist calls his new creation a perfect way to make a statement about the GST. Alex Pavlenko calls it the great loony collector. It's a piggy bank with a startling resemblance to Prime Minister Mulroney. A tag attached to the bank suggests you put your money where Mulroney's mouth is. The bank sells for about $25, not including the goods and services tax. And that's the news at this hour. Now with the weather, here's Terry Pritchett. Today and Thursday, periods of light snow giving total accumulations near 5 centimeters. Moderate to strong southwesterlies shifting to moderate northwesterlies overnight. Temperatures rising to near minus 6 this afternoon and remaining steady overnight. Temperatures Thursday falling to minus 9 to minus 13 in the afternoon. The probability of precipitation 80% today, tonight, and Thursday. The next scheduled forecast will be issued at 11 a.m. This is Terry Pritchett at the Newfoundland Weather Center in Gander. Light snow flurries and minus 5 degrees at 2 minutes past 10. Angela Garnier, CFCB Satellite News. CFCB, AM Stereo.